The veteran Conservative Member of Parliament died of his wounds, having been stabbed several times during a meeting with his constituents in South East England. Essex police said a man had been arrested at the scene in a church hall in the seaside town of Leon C. The 25-year-old was arrested on suspicion of murder. A knife was also recovered. The investigation is in its very early stages and is being led by officers from the Specialist Counter-Terrorism Command. We made it clear at the time of the incident that we did not believe there was any immediate further threat to anyone else in the area. Many in Leon C found it hard to believe what had happened. Yeah, I'd never heard anything bad about him. I'd always heard he tried to help people and that, yeah. Crazy, I just don't know. He was, yeah, he was really involved and just wanted to try and help out his constituents as best as he could. In the political halls of Westminster, meanwhile, shock and dismay. David was a man who believed passionately in this country and in its future. And we've, we've lost today a fine public servant and a much loved friend and colleague. Fine time for a debate. David Amos had been the MP for South End West since 1997 and a Conservative Member of Parliament since 1983. He was one of the longest serving members of the House of Commons. To talk about animal welfare generally, cruelty to animals. A defender of animal rights, colleagues described David Amos as kind, compassionate and well liked. He's said to have been keenly dedicated to his regular open-door meetings with constituents and enjoyed bringing their concerns to the floor of the House. He's not the first MP to have been killed in the course of his duties. Most infamous in recent times was the murder of Labour Party MP Jo Cox in her Northern England constituency in 2016. She was stabbed and shot by a far-right supporter a week before the Brexit referendum. It can't be beyond the wit of man to provide some form of security to members of parliament whilst still respecting that tradition of being able to see your MP. So you know when it's coming up, you can roster on a police officer to be in the room if that's what it's going to take. David Amos's killing has clearly created a great amount of shock here in his constituency and around the country. But it's also raised, once again, questions of how politicians can maintain contact with the public they represent. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Leon C in southeastern England.